Hello, I'm Tanya and I'm going to explain to you how to secure your PC with the host file. Okay, the host file is just a simple text file that sits on your computer and it's possible to use this file to protect yourself from spyware, adverts, um, tracking cookies that are used by ad servers to spy on your browsing behavior and also from malware. Um, and it, it's just a text file so it's a really simple lightweight way to protect yourself. I'll just explain what the host file is and how it works and what it does. Um, when you type a, a URL here into your browser, um, so, such as Google as I've, as I've done here, um, your computer, because computers talk to each other in numbers rather than in, in words, your computer needs to know the numerical equivalent of this URL. So actually the first place that it looks to find out this, this number, um, this IP address, it actually looks on your computer itself inside the host file, which is a text file. And so it just, it just has a list of some URLs and, and the numbers that correspond to those, the, the IP addresses. So by default, your host file is empty. So your computer checks there, it doesn't find an address. So then it goes to your ISP the DNS server on your ISP and it asks what, what is the IP address for Google. Um, so the technique that we're going to use is um, we're going to give a, an incorrect IP address for bad computers and we're going to put that in the host file. So we're going to tell your, your computer, so say for example um, ad servers that, that may place tracking cookies on your computer um, so that they can watch your browsing habits. Um, we, we're going to get a list of those and we're going to say to your computer, um, when in, instead of instead of going to the real the real numerical IP address for these ad servers, we're going to give them a wrong one. So it's going to it's your computer is not going to be able to contact these bad these any undesirable computers that are on that are on the list. Um, so that that's that's how it's going to work. Um, now you, you you need to get a list of these undesirable computers, um, and in fact. Various people they compile these lists and they update these lists and they're kept online. Um, so I'm going to show you where where a good one is. Um, the other types of uh, the other types of computers that they have on there are servers that are known to be used by malware. So if you get a, a bad program on your computer and it's it, it's spying on you and it's it's discovering your credit card details or whatever and then it tries to phone home and it tries to to, to send that information off to to criminals. Um, if if the server that it's trying to contact is in your host file with an incorrect IP address, it won't be able to contact the criminal, so it won't be able to send your, your, your data out. Okay, so I'm going to show you the URL for this, um, this host file, which is quite a good one. Um, and the URL is also in, in the mag, but it's, um, I'm just going to type it in here. It's the Most Valued Professional site, which is run by Microsoft. And they keep this, this host file up to date. There it is. So I'm just going to browse to this host file. Whilst that's loading up, I'm going to get your one up in the browser, in Notepad rather. So just go to Notepad. Um, if you're in Vista, you'll need to right-click Notepad first, and um, you need to right-click it and choose to run it in administrator mode. Just in XP, it's fine to do it this way. So you go to my computer, um, your disk drive, Windows folder, then it's system 32, then it's drivers, and it's etc. And then host is in here, but it doesn't have a file extension. So just go to all files there, types of file, all files, and there it is, open it up. So there's your, your host file on your computer. And this is there's only one entry here. These these hashes mean that um, that your computer shouldn't read this in here. So these are just for comments. Any line that begins with a hash isn't looked at. Um, so there's just one entry in your host file, and and that's this IP address here, and it's for local host. So this IP address refers back to your own computer, and in fact that's the IP address that we're going to give for all of these um, undesirable computers. We're just going to say loop back to yourself. So here's the host file, the Microsoft Value Professionals one, 
and it's got this enormous list of these undesirable computers that we're going to stop your computer from being able to contact. So I'm just going to press um, I'm just going to press Control A. Hold down Control, press A. That selects the whole document. Then again, hold Control, press C. That copies it to the clipboard. Then go into your own host file, go into a new line, and hold Control, press V. And there's the whole thing in there. And then you can just press File, Save. And that's it done. Now um, you're going to need to you're going to need to keep it updated with new bad computers. So um, a good way to do that is to subscribe to the mailing list, and then they'll give you a they'll give you a message every time that this this file is updated, and then you can you can replace it in here. So just over overwrite this whole this whole lot. Um, just do the same thing, but overwrite it. Um, and really, that's it. it it's it's a lightweight way to, to protect your, your computer. Um, once you've done that, there is one, there's one other consideration, um, and that is that sometimes a large, a large host file can, can slow your computer down a bit. So there's, there's, there is a way to remedy that. If you find that it's slowing your computer down, you just go into Start Run, and you go into Services. Uh, services.msc. Just type that in, and then you find this. Now you have to find um, the service called DNS client. Right-click it, properties, startup type. Choose disabled. And click OK. That will that will prevent um, a large host file from slowing your your computer down. Um, if, if you don't find a speed difference, you could just not do that. But if, if you do, then that is that is the way to fix it. Um, and that's it. That is how to protect your computer using a host file.